stopping at 10 minutes may not be a factor. Kent Steffes with the flipped up blue hat. He'll start it off. Great player, 25 years old. That's a young age to attain the great success that he has had. A dink that goes down. A surprise, and it works. Ryan Lewis with a little dink. Frozen in his, uh, call him cement feet, Kent Steffes just unable to move defensively. Well, you sure wouldn't think that would be the first play. Brian Lewis, by far the shortest player on the court. Only 26 years old. Burst on here two years ago when he won the Corvo Gold Round at Clearwater. These two teams played in the finals last week in Miami Beach. Kirai and Steffes controlled most of the early action. The key was the jump serving of Brian Lewis. When he was serving tough, he was right there. Karch Karai with a jumper, always wears the pink hat. So far, a very comfortable start that, for that Brian was, Lewis and right. Ricky Ludi's side now. That ball was good. It was definitely inside, Ludi's hitting it into the wind. He could hit it with a top spin. It was way in, was tied at zero. Ricky Ludi's goes to the jump serve. Brian Lewis almost was able to duh, dig the hit of Steffes, but not quite. Kent Steffes and Karch Kirai won all three jewels of the Cuervo Triple Crown last year. One here, of course, and then in Boulder and in Santa Cruz because of plays just like that. Like I said, let's play their game. That means siding out. Kent Steffes, the youngest millionaire ever in the sport. Ricky Ludis with a big hit right into the paws of Ken Steffes, but it was just hit too hard. Crowd likes it when they get close to being a facial, don't they? Well, they want to see some damage. They want to see some shrapnel. But look at Karch blocking the line, and Kent Steffes is right there, but more a little self-defense rather than defense. As he will do a lot, and maybe a little too often, Brian Lewis hits it into the net. That's costly. Well, he won't get an aces unless he's going for it each and every time. You have to pay the price by missing a few. Angle goes out, and they're on the scoreboard first, the team of Kirai and Steffes. You saw that Kirai won three straight Cuervo gold crowns last year. Of course, he did it with Steffes. Only one other team has done that. The great team of St. John Smith and Randy Stokos in 1990. There's a rare miss on the serve by Karch Karai. Well, they will not be trying to serve that tough. They're from the on the bad side. The wind is at their backs. It's much more difficult for them to control the ball that is coming to them. You don't have the wind in your face to serve the ball tougher, as does Ricky Ludis right here. He's on the good side. Oh, just reached real high, Kent Steffes did, with his great long arms and his leap and went over the block. A lot of people don't understand, you know, we talk so much about good side, bad side. It comes into play in tennis, and you're talking about a small, dense ball being driven through the wind. Out here, you know, you've got a nine-inch round ball inflated with air. The wind plays havoc. Good side, bad side, very important factor in the competition. Good set, and Steffes has to hit it inside the antenna, does he? Yes! Brian Lewis, starting out this match, shooting the ball. What I mean is just moving it around, trying to pick his spots. Steffes was frozen the first time. That won't happen very often. Steffes cranking cross-court from his offside, the left side. That was a great hit by Steffes, and they lead 2 to nothing as Kent goes for the ace, and he's got it. It's right on the line, 3 nothing. Kent Steffes, in spite of the fact that he plays on the right side, and usually your power comes from pulling the ball across your body, very adept at hitting the ball away from his body, screwball style, and this time froze Brian Lewis right down the line. Steffes, like a lot of great volleyball players, hails from Pacific Palisades, now lives over in Santa Monica, right next to the Palisades, trains down at Will Rogers State Beach with a lot of the other top players. No, no. Dug by Steffes, but into the 12th row. Karch goes into the fourth row, not six rows away. Dangerous thing to do sometimes. There's a pathway, a little landing pad, we'll call it uh, the Kirai runway or landing area back here. Karch knows where that path is. He's finding it. Yeah, safe little landing. Karch, there could be a couple bottle openers over there. I'll tell you, you go into those beach chairs and have an injury. Going for the uh, ace that time, Brian Lewis, he misses it. 
He knows he needs to make something happen. They're down three nothing and they're going to have to go to the bad side after two more points. Not a good start for Lewis and Ludis. Great little whip by Louie and the crowd comes alive. They like that. Good reaction starts with a good pass serve reception by Brian Lewis and Ricky Ludi set in the ball in perfect position. Watch the distance from the net. This ball set about two feet off the net gives Brian Lewis plenty, plenty of swinging room to see Kent Steffes maneuver the ball by him. Go, go, go. Over him is what Karch yelled, and that is what Kent Steffes did. Hey, if you just say it, it happens. That's a pretty good partner. Well, after you set the ball, Karch Kirai, in this instance, you've got to look at the defense and indicate the open areas. Ricky Ludis was digging the angle shot, so over him or down the line for Steffes is wide open. Could go out. Yes, it does. Circle. They're down three to nothing, but don't count out Ryan Lewis and Ricky Ludis in the semifinal against Mike Dodd and Mike Whitmarsh. They were down, and they came back to win it 12 to 10. Dug by Lewis, but it goes over. Karch with a dink, and he fools Ludis as another fellow Bruin completely. Little slice and dice. A lot of people, you know, don't realize that Karch oh, I spent years and years playing on the beach before he went on to Olympic fame. He knows this game, keeping the ball very low on the bad side so the wind is, cannot have as much effect, and just a little slice and dice over the top of Ricky Ludis. Karch's dad, Dr. Laszlo Kirai, played in the Hungarian volleyball team before moving to Santa Barbara. Started his son on the beach, and he taught him well, as you can see right there. The man in the pink hat knows how to play. Just operating, hitting against the flow. Great dig by Karch Kirai. Good set, again, low with the wind by his partner, Kent Steffes, and Karch just slicing off against the movement of the defense. First time I ever saw Karch, he was 16 years old. He was built similar to the way he is now. He's always been strong and powerful. some power from little Louie. And that's what got Brian Lewis back into the match in the semifinals against Big Mike Whitmarsh. Challenge him with the heater. You got to establish that you can beat the ball off the block, through the ball, through the block, by the block. And this is just one-on-one. -on -one. Steffes thought he had him. He was right with him, jumped into the cross court. Ludis. Maroon hat needs a big serve. He really cranks it up. Just hit it a little long. That was going to be trouble if it came down and came in. He had some steam behind it. Brian Lewis has had good experiences here and bad experiences. Won a couple of years ago with Pat Powers. His first win ever in a big one and lost here last year in the finals against his same opponent, Karch Kirai Kent Steffens. Pinging! The crowd loves it when it bounces high and goes into about the 12th row. Uh, Brian Lewis has got such a fast arm swing, he just gets on the ball, just ripping the ball cross court. Brian, as you said, is one with Pat Powers. He's one with Tiv Hobler. He's one with Randy Stoklos. He has never won with Ludies. So he'd like to do that right now. Karch with a little tap down, down the line, making it look easy. Having no trouble whatsoever passing the jump serve. This jump serve is coming at Karch almost full velocity, as if it were spiked, although traveling obviously a greater distance, slowing down a bit. Just takes all the spin off, all the velocity, perfect pass to the net. And Lewis really responding well now and seemingly not affected by the blocking of Steffes. The only problem is, as you said, Paul, that when Steffes and Karai side out, they are almost unbeatable, and they are siding out really well. Well, you side out, the other team's not scoring, and as long as they're on zero, you've got a pretty good chance to win. So far, their side out game, and by that we mean, in this instance, Kent Steffes passing the ball right on the dime, Karch Kirai setting well, and then calling out the open areas, and so far, they have been flawless as they go out to the 4-0 lead. Kent Steffes and... Uh, Kirai had only one loss, as you can see in the round robin. That was to Dodd and Whitmarsh. And there's quickly, Kirai says, when there's no block, I can hit anybody's hip. A little too much, though. Caught the tape on the way down. Trying to go for the 5-0 side change. Hits the top of the tape with his hand. Side out will go back to Lewis and Ludis, and that's a big break. Yep. There's a great serve. 
big is that break now? Could have been the 5-0 side change. Instead, Lewis comes back with the ace. We go to the 4-1 side change. Hey, if Ryan Lewis is very close to a foot fault here, he's got to be inside the sideline. Look at that. Hubby wife that has always plagued Kent Stephenson Karch Kirai. Poor communication up the middle. You're watching the Cuervo Gold Crown in Clearwater Beach, Florida. That's the final. 4-1, Stephenson Karai in front. Clearwater Beach, Florida, the winningest beach player of all time. Sinjin Smith, as we said, is with us. He's down courtside, out with an injury with a bad knee. We're happy to have him, and he's with Brian Lewis. Sinjin? Brian, you guys start out really slow on the good side. Now you're going to the bad side. What do you have to do to get back in this game? We have to make some points, and I need to start out a little better. Pass the ball up to the net and listen to my partner's calls that are pretty good, and I'm just doing the opposite. Okay, good luck. Back to you, Lennon Paul. Interesting point that Brian made about you have to listen to your partner. After Ricky Ludes will set Brian Lewis, he won't watch Lewis right away. He'll look at the opposition. Where is the block position? Where is the backcourt defender position? And always call out the open area. But the hitter has to have that sense to watch the block, watch the ball swing, and key into the, uh, his teammates' call at the same time. As the players come back into the sand in the game to 15, it's a 4-1 to lead for Steffes and Kirai. As we indicated, they won all three Cuervos last year. The first one, of course, is played in Clearwater Beach, Florida. The second in Boulder, Colorado. We'll be there in June. The third in August in Main Beach in Santa Cruz. We'll be there in California. And we got a fourth one this year in Hawaii. More on that later. Steffes easily siding out. I think Ludes has got to come up with some blocks on Kent, maybe. Well, maybe you have to move in front of Kent Steffes' angle. That's where he's hitting the ball right now. Steffes has received six serves, six kills, <laughs> obviously doing very well. The hubby wife return, Karch and Kent. Husband and wife, no communication, up the middle, and Karch and Kent are victims of that more than anybody else on the tour, surprisingly being the most successful team. And Ricky Ludis is going, Brian, yours. Brian's going, no man, yours, and falls in between. His customary pink hat. He cranks another one, Karch Kirai. And Ludis right between the arms of Kent Steffes for a field goal and a side out. He would like to have the three points that normally go along with a field goal be right back in this one, but they'll have to earn them from the bad side. Ludis, is he going to go with a sky ball? Change yes. things up a little bit. This is a good idea. Nicely passed. Oh, Ludis blocked and backed up and blocked it a little. So you go with a sky ball because, again, you don't feel that you can jump serve or even float serve with some degree of difficulty from the bad side. The wind's at your back. The ball just travels in a very straight line. So you send it up, have the uh, opposition, Kirai and Steffes, look up into that blazing sun and maybe cause them some problems. Not a good pass. Steffes with a pretty good set, though. A blooper. Steffes has got it. And Steffes puts it away. Great run by Kent Steffes, covering behind the block. All he's trying to do is get the ball up in the air here, and Karch Kirai, look at the contact right here. He's running away from the area where he wants to attack. Karch will set the ball maybe twice as high here to give his partner time to get back to the net and kill from the outside. Good idea. I was just going to suggest they need to do something. Lewis and Ludis, they take a sand timeout. That's just a brief timeout, but they need to gather themselves and cut down the momentum. We're playing here in the final. First place is a biggie in this $250,000 purse. What a different fall between first and the others. Uh, it's like the penthouse and the doghouse. Even though you finish first and second in a tournament, such a huge difference. Six, what is that, $76,000 difference? $76,000 game. And then on down the line, $100,000 is a lot of dough. Even for you, Shaq. <laughs> Bad pass. The wind is blowing. Got a broken play. Oh, he hits it just long. That was close. Nine. Seven to one. Check that. Seven to one. I'm getting ahead of myself. But the route is just about on. Kirai and Steffes on a roll here. And this is something, so far at least this season, they have yet to do in a final. They continually have fallen behind. They've done it against Dodd and Whitmarsh. They've done it against other teams throughout the course of this early season. But they have come away with victories on three out of four weekends. 
Obviously, because it was round robin, these two teams did meet earlier in the round robin format. Steffes and Karai won 10 to 3. Long time to wait there on Steffes. Throw off his tempo a little bit, and he misses the serve. He knows when things are rolling like that, just get it in, if nothing else. Look at Karch looking around. This is a Louis crowd. This is one of the keys that we talked about at the beginning of this match. Brian Lewis needs to do something to get this crowd involved. Chance for a point. Oh, good hit. The crowd is going to come alive and get behind him. They like the little guy. They like the underdog. They made a big comeback in the semifinals. Been on the big right arm of Brian Lewis and the blocking of Ricky Ludes. That's the combination that can get them back in this match. And as we mentioned, Lewis won here two years ago, his first one ever at the Cuervo Gold Crown in Clearwater Beach when he played with Pat Powers. So the crowd knows him. Very calmly that time, uh, and in control, Key Ryan Steffes, Ryan coming back side to out, 7-2. to two. Two. It'll be Karch Karai to serve. Speedo and right back. because that dig was awfully high. A rocket right at Karch Kirai, just hanging in. Digs the best shot that Brian Lewis has to offer. Digs the ball straight in front of him. Kirai focused right here. The play is on, Steffes blocks line. Karch, you can see the velocity on this. Karch is telling him just right in front of you, and he slices off the angle. Brian Lewis with no chance. Beautiful set. Kirai and Steffes in control, and with an 8-2 lead here in our championship. It was blocked, went out, side, side out. Side out, meaning, of course, there is no score on the play. You only score when you serve. See how low Steffes gets, trying to jump as high as he possibly can. Thought he might have had a chance for a stuff there, reaching into the cross court from Ludis. No jump serve, hits the floater and comes up and block. Ricky Ludis. Nice shot selection by Kent Steffes. Steffes, thing. a lot of people think Steffes has a wins because he has a great partner, but remember he has won with other players as well. One year he won with three different partners, including Karch Kirai. Mishandled ball. Mishandled ball. Point. Not a great pass, spinning an awful lot. Ricky Ludi's trying to get the ball back up to the net. Good hitting position of Brian Lewis. Double contact, a lot of forward spin, pretty easy call to make by Jim Leonard, our referee, and it's now 9-2. to two. Sand Lewis takes yeah, yet sand another time sand timeout. Got to do something to slow down the momentum. As Kirai and Steffes, yeah, it's warm, it's hot, it's humid, but when you're up 9-2, it feels like it's about 75 degrees. Paul, here are the round-robin formats, eight of the best teams in the world. Kirai Steffes, obviously in first place, only one loss. They lost to Dodd and Whitmarsh in the round-robin, 10-9, a great match. Dodd Whitmarsh finished second, Lewis and Ludis third. Lewis and Ludis, Dodd Whitmarsh played in the semifinals. Uh, Lewis and Ludis obviously advancing. Randy Stoklos and Adam Johnson, a tough tournament. Eric Fanoi Moana, Tim Hovland. A good finish down in fifth position. Scott Akatubby out with a groin, did not play. His partner, Brent Prohoff, tried to qualify. With Dave Swadek, they did not. The block by Karch Kirai on Ludi, on Lewis, 10 to 2. Louis trying to, I don't know if he's trying to shake it off or just shaking his head. When Kirai and Steffes are playing well, they're the best team. Their results all speak to that. A couple of years ago, they dominated the tour, winning 16 out of 19. Last year, it was 18 out of 23, each winning over 450,000 bucks. Off the block of Kirai this time. Lewis has reversed his hat. Now he's taken off the sunglasses. He's trying everything.
some breakthrough. But, you know, Brian Lewis is exerting so much energy trying to bomb these serves. Attempt. They still need some help. Look at that. Step, the little jab step to the left. He was completely fooled to the outside. And Louis giving it everything. Hey, Sand timeout over here. Sand timeout, as you heard Jim Leonard, the referee, by Kirai and Steffes. First time we've seen a little uh, chink in the armor there. Well, it, if there's been anything that has gone against Ken Steffes through the years, it's been giving up three or four, even five points in a row. And that's something that I think both he and partner Karch Kirai have really worked on. If they sense that they're losing their concentration, losing their focus a little bit, which is a possibility, they were up 10-2 until that previous ace. They will take a 20 or take a full timeout and really get back into the match. Karch Kirai in the pink hat. UCLA Sports Hall of Fame. She said it had 18 wins in 93. Had 16 wins the year before. dig off the Chester by Ricky Lute. He's getting to the ball quickly. Excellent set by partner Brian Lewis. And Lewis starting to do some damage with the jump serve. Bombing up the middle, Ricky Lute. He needs to stuff a ball. have probably been a point for Lewis and Lutis. Kirai and Steffes getting a little lucky on the block over the coverage of Brian Lewis if they even need that advantage. But Karch right there. Steffes tried to block it, but he could not side out. Lewis and Ludic, they're still communicating. Not real uptight right there. And starting to develop some pretty good chemistry as a team, but no, they need a little help driving Steffes deep. Oh, Lewis almost there, able to reach it as Ludis did block it. Steffes, back to serve. Steffes now already with 14 kills. He's been served 15 times. Karch Kirai's partner only six times. Nice turn by Brian Lewis for a good side out. They're starting to side out now pretty well. They just need to find a way to score some points. You would think it would come through the surf. Kent Steffes, to his credit, did not finish school when he was playing at UCLA. Came back in the offseason last couple of years, got his degree in economics. And he'll need it with all the money he's making. Trying to win that. An, an applied science. Trying to win 50,000 today with his partner, who will also win 50 if they can garner first. Steffes, nice hit through the block of Ludis. Ricky has yet to block a ball, of course, either against Karch Kirai or Kent Steffes. And Steffes is getting perfect sets. It all starts off the good pass and has the choice of either going cross court or down the line with heat. Good job of moving it around the block. The hits, he's turning well. You can see the play between Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. Karch jumps way into the cross court, trying to take away the angle. Kent Steffes covering behind down the line, but Louis just too quick with the arm swing. I'll tell you, they could have folded at 10 2, but uh, they're getting it all. Lewis and Ludis, and that's an ace. Crowd loves it. Good for something positive to happen from Ricky Ludis. It is now 10 to 5. Steffes and Karai leading here in the Cuervo Gold Crown. We'll be right back. You're still with us to use a lot of sunscreen now. I know that I bake that stuff on all I can. Just didn't have it when I was playing. You know, the players very careful about that these days. When they go out before they play now, they will lop on the highest protective stuff they can get. Oh, I love Steve Timmons. I'll ask him where is he going after the tournament. I'm going to go down to Puerto Rico for a few days. Maybe I should have gone to USC. Okay, we're back to action. I thought I would never hear you say that. Just kidding, of course. 
Kirai and Steffes in front, 10 to 5. Game to 15. They are on the good side. They better not let Lewis and Ludis creep back right now. Kent Steffes with the serve. A dink. Steffes has got it up. It's over. No, no, that's four hits. There's the fourth hit. But Steph is getting to the shot. Remember the very first side out of this championship match, Brian Lewis with a little slice. Steph was just stuck in the sand. No such uh, duplication here. Steph and Kirai playing well, but Lewis and Ludis have made a move. Oh, good deep shot. Now, pretty soon, Brian Lewis is going to have to get some of those high off-speed shots by Steffes, or they're just not going to dig anything. Had a chance to make that play. Just one step away, doing a better job of reading Kent Steffes right now. Karch Kirai won a couple golds, 84 and 88, and in indoor in the Olympics. Play is pretty similar to one another. Both Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes, uh, excuse me, Brian Lewis is the defensive players respectively, although Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes will mix it up. Will play center field, read the block, read the play, and then try to pursue as best they can to cover the court. Sky ball, he gets it good and deep, and it is called out. Now that's the negative, is it's, it's easy to see whether it's in or out. Even if it's four inches out, you can tell. And that was just about three and a half. Well, your partner, look at Karch, goes right back with him. Karch will get right back parallel. Yeah, we're number one, and that ball was out. Oh, misplay. And a tap down, an easy point. As the serve was mishandled that time, so it's 11 to 5. Four points away from $100,000 are Kirai and Steffes. And Brian Don't Lewis. Don't spend it yet, guys. And Ricky Ludi has expended a lot of emotional and physical energy just trying to stay with Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes. Same time out. Got very frustrated for a long period of time where Kirai and Steffes were just rolling along, siding out, scoring points. And they inched their way back into this match, but hit a wall once again. Ludi's talking to the crowd here. Hey, the crowd would we, would be behind Brian Lewis and Ricky Ludis, but they got to make a move on the scoreboard to get them involved. Paul, remember this used to happen in the old days with Randy Stoklos and Sinjin Smith, who's down there courtside. Crowd always got behind the other team, the underdog. Of serving, 11 to Get tired of seeing the same guys win. Unless, of course, you're the guys that are winning. <laughs> Kent's not, pro not tired of those tax problems yet. Ball goes way out. Seems like after a long break, that's when he misses his serve. Still has an 11 to five lead. Ryan Lewis serving with the wind to his back. It's gonna be tough for him to hit a big one, but the crowd imploring him to do so. Ooh, that would have been a tough one. Side out. The side, Karch saw it out all the serve, way. You could hear him five. call it. Lewis, back with the sunglasses, probably watched our feature. Watch it. Ludis in two, and Steffes with a late Five. block, side out. Ricky Ludis to serve. Ricky Ludis still without a step, going back to serve here. Ludis on two, getting possession for his team, going with a sky ball here. This one's too short. Easy tap down. Yeah, the sky ball is only effective if you can put it on the back line. And even then, at this level, it's usually not effective. You want to serve that ball as deep as you can, so the pass has to travel a long, long distance back up to the net. Tougher ball to set. But if you serve that thing in the middle of the court, it's easy for these players to handle. Kent Steffes with 11-5 lead. Puts it in play. Back set by Ludis. Great swing, and it's done. They've got it up again, and they put it away. Great defensive play, though, by Kirai and Steffen. A little pinball defense, and then quick to Brian Lewis, and with a knuckle poke, he keeps that ball in play. <laughs> you got the crowd behind you. Let's go. Brian probably wants to turn around and say, I'm trying everything. 
to make that play. That's two opportunities now. The first one was tough. You alluded to it earlier. He was reading Kent Steffes better down the line with the left from the left side. But this is a play. Brian Lewis center field. He's in the right position. Got to play that ball with two hands. Two hands. Play exactly. that ball with two hands. Brian learned that. 10 years ago, and he knows it. He's thinking about going and hitting as opposed to making the defensive play first. That's an ace. That is in, and we go to 12 Point to 5. To and Steffes. I think that's what they got to do now. Stephens and Karai just try to win this baby on the good side with some aces. They can do it. Three more points. Three points away from their fourth straight Cuervo goal crown. Yeah, they got to do it. Lewis and Ludis take a sand timeout. Karch Kirai and Kent Steffes again. You can see the flag over Karch Kirai's right shoulder on his right side there. The wind always blowing into your face when you occupy the good side. When the ball is coming to you, it travels in a much straighter trajectory and truer line because it's traveling with the wind. It's easier to pass, easier to control. And then you also have more of an advantage because you're serving and hitting into that very tough wind, tough top spin. Makes it very, very difficult. Literally, the court on the side opposite the good side becomes bigger because you can just rip with top spin and be so much more beach. aggressive Thank offensively. Carts to run. Serving. Crowd not going anywhere. A well-played game, Paul, despite the light, lopsided score. It's just a, a great play of Kirai and Steffes. Look at that serve. All they can do is bump it over. Tap down by Kirai. Just keeps it in play. 13 to 5. He knows how to win, doesn't he? He's talking about a machine here. Playing extremely well. When Kirai and Steffes have trouble, it's because they're not passing well. They're being beaten by the jump serve. But they have sided out so perfectly. Steffes, not a chink in his armor throughout the course of this final. Kirai and Steffes have served extremely well. That goes out, the serve by Kirai. So it's 13 to 5. Ludis and Lewis maybe hoping for an injury now to, to uh, Steffes and Kirai. Goes the sky ball one more time. That's a good one. Bump set by Kirai. And a tap down as Ludis wasn't even close on the block. And he's discouraged because of that. Has yet to block a ball. Each team has three aces, and Kirai and Steffes would be happy with that any time going against a great jump server like Brian Lewis to equal them out in terms of aces. Blocked by Kirai, but out. Good side out. They're siding out pretty well, Lewis and Ludis. They just cannot score against this team. Brian Lewis has had a great match offensively. 17 kills, a couple of aces. He's had a good tournament. He'll be disappointed, though. What a payday in first place. $76,000 difference between first and second. No, and once again, Lewis cannot get it. He was down low. The one arm, though, is a tough dig. And he's discouraged about that. He knows it. Well, he's already thinking, go hit. You've got to get as much of your body in front of this ball as you possibly can. Louis has got to lean to the right, get in front, and play that ball with two hands as best he can. It's coming to him 60, 70 miles an hour. He's already thinking, go hit. Got to get down in the sand and then make the recovery. Take it out. Blocked by Steffes, it goes out. So that's going to be a side out. Side out, Lewis and Ludis. Ricky Ludis grew up in Pacific Palisades. Went to the same high school as Steffes, different time. Makes his home in San Diego now. Good deep serve this time. They still handle it, though, and put it down. No mistakes from Kent Steffes. Steffes Unforced errors for Karai and Steffes. The They've Cuervo had one this entire draft. match. Lewis and Ludis, five. <laughs> Steffes being so consistent, either hit the ball cross court or down the line. A floater, a knuckler, mishit by Lewis. He was looking right up into the sun. He lost it, missed it, and we go to 14 to five. A timeout on the court, so we'll Both come back here and see if they can put it away. Stephens and Karai lead 14 set. to 5. We are back in Clearwater Beach, Florida. Lynn Shackelford along with Paul Sunderland and 
Sinjin Smith, and you are looking at Kent Steffes, one point away from he and his partner winning $100,000. Ranked up by Ricky Ludis, Kirai cannot block it, so they are still alive, but barely. There have been great teams in the history of Pro Beach Volleyball. Ron Lang, Ron Von Hagen, Greg Lee, Jim Mingus, Tom Shamalas, Ron Von Hagen, of course, Sinjin Smith, Randy Stoklos, Tim Hovland, Mike Dodd. Kirai and Steffes are now among them. No question. Easily put away by Karch Kirai. So the man in the pink hat with his wife, Jana, down in San Clemente, sons Christian and Corey, wondering how they can spend that money before Karch even gets home. This could be it. It's dinked over. Oh, that's a great shot by Ludis. They stay alive. They're down 14 to 5. Lewis and Ludis have had a great tournament. They have met the best team on the beach right now, playing at their very best. And it's been a little bit too few of that. They've just been unable to break Kirai and Steffes down. The sky ball, and Karch is going to play this one. Lewis is moving in the right direction, but Karch has such a great angle on that because of his height. It's always been Karch's favorite shot. The very sharp angle, the slice underneath or inside the blocker on the left side. And it just lands so close to the net. You have to be down so sharp. If you go cover that, the rest of the court is virtually wide open. Third time at championship point. They miss the serve. Kent Steffes does, but uh, no need to panic. They're ahead 14 to 5. Brian Lewis now with the hat on in front and no sunglasses. He's tried every combination. They've got it. Chance for a point. And he misses it into the net. Side out. Just cannot make it happen. I, I think he is bothered by that sun over there. He's looking. Now he's not looking up into it that time, I don't think. Well, maybe just pressing a little bit, trying to make something happen when it's not there. But that was a pretty good looking chance to score. Brian Lewis taking a timeout. Maybe he Full and timeout, Ricky Ludis have hit the wall sand. physically just a little Maybe. bit. It is hot, and they have played that extra match. When or if they will put it away, we'll see. Stephens and Karai lead by nine. To Clearwater Beach, the fans love the action here. As we said, seventh straight year, we've had uh, the Cuervo Gold Crown at Clearwater. There are your past champions. Some of the all-time great teams and combinations. John Stevenson back in 88 with Pat Powers. Have not had a repeat champion, though. A, a team, at least. Until today. Until today, probably. Oh, you're already uh, putting it in the win column for Steffes and Karai? You're not going out on a big limb, are you? No. Nope. They keep it alive, though. Siding out. Well, Karai and Steffes have got this. They've put on a couple of streaks. They've been very, very solid siding out. They're just waiting for that one opportunity, a, a mistake by Lewis or Ludis, and they'll capitalize on it and take home their fourth Cuervo Gold Crown event in a row. Ludis just is <laughs> shaking his head. He cannot get close to that hit of Kent Steffes, and it's been a big difference in this game. Has not blocked a ball yet in this match, and throughout wow. the course of the tournament, his ability, he's six foot five, jumps extremely well. His ability to block has been one of the keys for them. There's a key stat, and that's how they win it. Right down the middle, nice serve by Kent Steffes for the second straight year and for the fourth straight time in the Cuervo Gold crowd. Kent Steffes and Karch Karai are your champions. A 15 to 5 win over Lewis and Ludis. We'll come back with a lot more, including a visit with the champions right after this. Welcome back to Clearwater Beach, Florida. Sinjin Smith is down courtside with the champions. I'm here with Karch and Kent, the winners of the Jose Cuervo Gold Crown and $100,000 richer. You guys played nearly flawless in the finals. Kent, you sided out really well, better than you have in the last few weekends. What did you do differently? Uh, I'm not sure if I did anything differently. I was just able to see the court a lot better. I, I knew where Louie was in the back, and I could see Ricky in front, and uh, I just had a field day when that happened. Now, Karch, what can you guys do better in the future to, to improve upon your game? You guys were terrific today. 
Well, like you said, we played a nearly perfect game. Our, our brand of volleyball is uh, not the most spectacular. We just kind of grind away, serve tough, and make no mistakes. And we did play a nearly perfect game today. I don't think we can get better than that. Well, congratulations once again. Back up to you, Lynn and Paul.